I'm going to give you my recommendations on how to load out your Drake Herald, and we're starting right now. Hello and welcome aboard your Drake Interplanetary Craft. Your systems are online. Welcome to a Star Citizens Loadout Guide. What's up, citizens? This is Subliminal here, and in this guide, we will discuss my recommendations for both weapons and components for your Drake Herald. In the game's current state, the Herald doesn't have much of a purpose. I feel like a great loadout for today and even in the future would be a stealth scout. This loadout is going to get you set up to do just that. Special thanks to all the support from patrons and channel members. It takes a while to make one of these and your support is greatly appreciated. If you wind up enjoying this loadout guide, please consider liking, subscribing, and sticking around to the end to learn about ways you can support future content for free. Enough with the formalities, let's get to it. Before we get into the loadout, let's explain this build's premise. The Drake Herald is going to be a ship that will run data and chart maps across the galaxy. Obviously, this gameplay hasn't made it into the game just yet, so I'm going for a stealth scout build. This is designed to assist a fleet in scouting out an area and possibly causing a distraction by taking advantage of the Herald's speed to do a quick flyby and possibly split up the enemy. Disclaimer, this build doesn't work how I would like it in the game's current state. Stealth isn't very fleshed out at the moment, and even equipping grade 1 stealth components, I was unable to get my IR signature down low enough to remain undetected for long. I suspect that when stealth is more implemented, these components will give the desired effect, so this is more of a theory at the moment. Maybe when stealth hulls are added to the game in 310, this will change, but I'm not optimistic. If it does, I will add it to the pinned comment. Let's start with the power plant the component that gives all the other components power. The standard power plant on the Herald is the size one grade three stealth class sonic light with just 1400 max power draw per second and a 3.75 second draw request time. Because we're going stealth, we need to also consider its EM and IR signature of 1.05. This suffers from a low maximum power draw, but it has a low draw request time. This plant may work for you, but I want to get the stealth signature down as low as possible. So we're going to be adding an even more stealthy shield, the Slipstream. It is grade 1, stealth class, has almost 1800 max power generation per second and a super fast 1.25 second draw request time. This will add more than 400 max power draw and reduce the time it takes to reach that max power draw down to 1.25 seconds and cuts the EMIR signature almost in half. This is a better power plant in every way. The Slipstream will set you back just under 19,000 Alpha UEC and can be found at these locations. Let's discuss its coolers. These are used to cool our components. The standard coolers on the Herald are the size 1 grade 3 stealth class heat safe coolers with a cooling rate of 130 kilos per second, a draw request time of 7.5 seconds, and a 1.05 EM IR signature. These coolers barely provide enough cooling capacity and have a higher signature than the coolers I recommend. I recommend adding snow blinds. They are size 1, grade 1, stealth class with a cooling rate of 170 kilos per second, a draw request time of 7.5 seconds as well, and a 0.75 EMIR signature. I know these stealth numbers seem low, but this makes a big difference. These now provide enough cooling and lowers our signature. A snow blind will set you back almost 13,000 alpha UEC and can be found at these locations. Now for the shield generator that protects our ship and these components. The Herald stock shield generators are the size 1 grade 3 stealth class shimmer shield generators with an HP pool of over 2300, a 306 HP per second regen rate, a 50% minimum physical absorption, a 2 second damage delay, a 12 second down delay, and a 5 second draw request time. This shield is a decent stealth shield but not good enough. We're going to be adding the super fast mirages. They are size 1 grade 1 stealth class with an HP pool of over 3000 a 342 HP per second regen rate, a 50% minimum physical absorption, a 2.14 damage delay, a 14 second down delay, and a 3 second draw request time. This will give you much more shield pull, provide quicker regen and draw request times. Plus it will cut its EM and IR signatures in half. Another win-win over the stock loadout. A Mirage will set you back around 29,000 off the UEC and can be found at these locations. And lastly, the QT drive that will help you get to the stores to sell these components faster. The standard QT drive on the Herald is the size 1 grade 3 civilian class Expedition with 149 megameter per second quantum speed, a 9.8 per megameter fuel requirement, a 5 second spool up, and a 10 second cool down time. 
This drive can make a one-way trip from one side of Stanton to another, but I'd rather have one that is a little faster and still able to make that trip. I recommend using the Atlas. The Atlas is grade one, civilian class, has 152 megameter per second quantum speed, a 7.5 per megameter fuel requirement, a 5.1 second spool up, and an 8.7 second cool down time. The Atlas will run you about 18,000 off of UEC and can be found at these locations. This video is brought to you by my Locations of Stanton fan art series. There are four ways you can rock this collection. All viewers can download the mobile wallpapers for free. Desktop wallpaper versions are available to all patrons and channel members. Canvases and posters are available in the merch store, and you can have them printed on metal from Display. Flaunt your love for Star Citizen and support the channel while doing so. Now let's talk about the stock weapons and my recommendations. The Herald is equipped with a size 2 weapon hardpoint on the nose and two size 1 hardpoints under the wings. Its size 3 MSD-341 missile racks are located in these silos. Each one carries four size 1 missiles. On the nose, the Herald comes with a gimbaled size 2 Scorpion GT-215 ballistic gatling. One Scorpion does 21 alpha damage times 900 RPM for a total of 318 DPS and a 2100 meter range. It has 8,000 rounds that would deplete in 533 seconds of continuous fire. Under each wing, we have a gimbaled size 1 Yellow Jacket GT-210. One Yellow Jacket does 16 alpha damage times 800 RPM for a total of 213 DPS in a 1700 meter range. The Yellow Jacket has 7,200 rounds that would deplete in 540 seconds of continuous fire. For missiles, we have two MSD-341 missile racks with four Task Force 1s each. Task Force 1s are size 1, electromagnetic, do 2,900 damage, have a 0.8 second lock time, and a 3,200 meter lock range. For reasons unknown to me, these missile racks cannot be replaced. If they could, I would equip two size 3 missiles that could strike outside of the Herald's detection range. Hopefully this is a bug or something that can be fixed. Anyway, I prefer cross-section missiles, so we'll be swapping these out for Spark 1s. Spark 1s are size 1, cross-section, do 2,900 damage, have a 1.3 second lock time, and a 3,200 meter lock range. Notice I didn't give any recommendations for the guns. They're perfect. It's like someone over at CIG was watching one of my vids when they decided to load out this ship. If you don't have around 120,000 off of UEC to spend on all this at once, I would buy them in the following order. The most important thing here is stealth because its combat abilities are extremely limited. You'll want to avoid PvP and even PvE conflict as much as possible. Also, this build uses gimbals. However, with fixed being reworked in 310, it is very likely that I will change this build to have a fixed GT220 and two Scorpions instead. Make sure you check out the link to this loadout at Urkel.Games. I have a link in the description. Building this loadout would not have been possible without this tool. It even tells you the prices and locations on where to find these items in the verse. My recommendations are constantly changing because the game is constantly changing, especially with the new 3.10 patch fixing fixed weapons. Head over to the Subliminal Channel Discord to see my updated loadouts. I'm building a community there for citizens who want to discuss ships, loadouts, components, weapons, and more. Click the link in the description. Those are my loadout recommendations. Let me hear yours down in the comments. My full review of the Drake Herald will be coming shortly, so be sure to be subscribed and have the bell clicked. If you enjoy my channel, there are six ways to support it. Number one, you can smash that like button. Number two, you can share this content with someone who may enjoy it. Number three, you can check out my locations of Stanton collection over at Displate. Number four, you can subscribe and turn on notifications by clicking the circle here. Number five, you can become a channel member by clicking the join button below. And number six, if you're feeling generous, consider becoming a patron. Some pledge perks can be seen here, including desktop versions of my locations of Stanton collection available to all patrons. If not, your viewership is greatly appreciated. Until next time, citizens, I'll see you in the verse.